Hello again. Alrighty, the last two videos I've done, I did on making these little leaf ephemeras and the little flower ephemeras. The leaves were from um, decorative paper that I had. I think I got another piece of it left. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. It was this decorative paper and I used my half inch punch and I punched out all the little leaves off of the paper and I cut out little cardboard and or cardstock to back them so that way they're more sturdy. Then the next video I made were making these. My friend had given me and I still got the package around here somewhere right here. Um, she gave me this little envelope that had smiley faces stickers in it just all smiley faces and she was wondering what I was going to come up with and the first thing that came to my mind was put them on flowers and I love punching these flowers out because they're always the perfect size so I punched out all these flowers and I backed them on cardboard and then from these two I made the tags which are here And I started out with just a blank tag and oh as a matter of fact the <laughs> the little strip here was from the sticker part after I pulled the little faces up the little smiley faces off then I had that strip left so I saved that and I put that down first on the tags and then I put the I put the word strip down do what you love and then I put the flower on the top of the face and then I added the little leaf isn't that adorable? And then I added the little thread to match. So this one says, do what you love. Choose to see the good. I love the way the leaves look. Do more than exist. Follow your heart. And the cardboard behind these little pieces it gives it just enough to raise it up so that it 3d's it just enough but it still makes it simple enough to go through the mail if need be though 98% of my cards go to the senior centers so these I'm sure will end up being given to the seniors so while we're here I, while I'm here I figured I'd make a couple more so I've got a couple more tags in here actually I've got quite a few more tags in here so Let's make something. Let's see. And I've got plenty of scraps. I've got strips here. Let's pull these strips over. We might use those. Alrighty. do is just do a couple along the bottom. That would be kind of pretty. As a matter of fact, I have <laughs> I've got this. I've got three rolls. Let's see. Oh wait, I had a piece that was already cut off that I needed to use. So let me use this up first. Alrighty, and maybe I will do the same thing or just from the bottom. Okay, maybe I'll just do it right across the bottom. Let's try it. Yeah, that's pretty. Some of that is matte paper. That looks neat. This one looks kind of like an egg. Let's do it that way, why not? Just let it back and forth just a little bit so that it will grab onto it a little bit better. Spread that glue out. Yeah, that's pretty. Right. 
lady. Let's see. Got more of that. Got these couple little strips in here too. I could get rid of these too. Oh, that's pretty. You know what? I'm going to put those on. They're just laying there. Sometimes when I'm straining up my desk, I'll just throw a thing or two in that little container and then see what I can come up with using that container. That's pretty. are pretty. Okay. Let's see. Do I have anything else in this little box? Yep, I've got another one of those strips. <laughs> got a salamander strip. <laughs> that might take away from the flower, though. Yeah, that would. Oh, you know what? I've got a piece of this. I've got a couple pieces of this. That came from punching out the little pieces of cardboard, and that would look kind of cool. That has a grassy look to it. You know what? I'm still going to put that down there. I don't know why I save stuff like this. <laughs> but I end up finding any use for it. Every time. That's cute. I like that. And this and I do have another piece of that brown. Well, I've got a couple pieces of that brown stuff, and I've got a couple of oh, I've got a green one in there too that I cut apart. That might look kind of nice on this. You know what? I think I'll do that. That's a good idea. Did you hear my little yelp? <laughs> on there. Uh-oh. Here comes Butler. What are you doing, Butler? Hmm? You need some attention? Hmm? You always gotta come up when I got the glue out, don't you? The glue or, this, or the ink pads. And then he'll walk across the ink pad and I'll have to grab him really fast before he gets off the table. So then he'll track glue around, or track ink around if I don't grab him. Thank goodness I've been able to grab him each time. And it doesn't happen too, too often. But Alright, so I've got one little piece of that left, so I'll save that. And these, I think, I'm willing to throw away. Alright, come here. Come here. <laughs> You're so silly. You just want some loves. Yeah. Aw. You want to say hello? Yeah, say hello. Say hi, everybody. My name's Butler. Yeah. <laughs> purr, purr, purr. Listen to you purr. I know. I know. I love you, too. Okay. See you later. Alrighty. Back to this now. Okay, so first we need some word strips. There's a I don't like to put my fingers on them because I make this sticky come off. Alrighty, so ooh, that's a little high, isn't it? Alright. Well, you know what? I'm going to do it, but just pull it down a little bit more. All right. If I can snip that little edge off in there, that's okay. And grab a flower. Yes. Okay. Perfect.
That is adorable. Creativity takes courage. That is cute. And then we need a little leaf. That leaf's kind of floating that way or this way? This way, okay. Nope, the other way. There. That's cute. I'm really liking the way these look. They look really cute. All right, let's do another one. Needs to be somewhat short. Love yourself first. I like that. Nope, I need to move it over. Yeah. Alrighty, may as well do some more. Cultivate kindness. That's pretty. Oh, let's see. Let life surprise you. Moving forward. It's funny, I'm so afraid of running out of stuff. And so I'm trying to get over that fear of running out of, out of stuff, so not using it. I'm, I like to hoard stuff and hold on to it forever. But then, like stickers. A friend of mine has stickers that are that are going bad. They're actually sliding off of the sticker sheets because she's had them for so long. And we keep laughing about it. Well, this one says, hello, my darling. And I do not want that to happen to mine. I don't really, I really buy stickers. But people have given me stickers before and I've gotten them as gifts. So I certainly want to make sure that I pull them out and use them before they lose their stick because that's kind of silly because then you have to use glue to glue them together. Alrighty, so these need a flower on the top. Purple on this one would be cute. That is really cute. And then it just needs a leaf. I'll put an orange leaf. <laughs> that is cute. All right, this one. Got a flat side, perfect. A little bit of a flat edge there. These are so cute. Alrighty, and then this one. I'm trying not to think too much about what colors and whatever I'm putting together. I'm trying to just do it. Alright, and that needs a leaf. Guess I'm grabbing the orange leaves this time. These little happy faces are hilarious on the flower. One more. 
really like how quickly this helps me to make a card because I can just throw them on a card and they're ready to go, adding very little else to it. Maybe some background papers or something like that. That's funny how that one little background strip just kind of finishes these up too. Let's do one more green one. I only have one green out there. Why not? Alrighty. Those are cute. Now I've got pink, purple, green, and blue. Let's see. Oh heck, let's just do these three colors. These are the ones that I had together anyways. Scissors. So that one, whoops, sticky fingers. <laughs> I used to tell the kids when they were little, don't be touching that stuff with your sticky fingers. They'd say, but mommy, my hands are clean. And I'd say, nope, you've got sticky fingers. You're touching everything. <laughs> they, they would say, me wash my hands, me wash my hands. just meant they like touching everything and they need to leave stuff alone. But they, they came around to understanding that. There. Alrighty. These are cute. And these can be left as they are, or I could make these e into an even bigger embellishment. I can back it with something else. I can put 3D tape on it, double stick tape. Those cute. And those are the other ones. Oh, I went around the, the other ones with the black marker. I think it gave it a finished look to it. Yeah, and I found this box of um, whiteboard markers on Amazon. I think it was like six or seven dollars for a whole case of them. I think there's like 48 in a box. So, and I originally got them for my sister's big whiteboard that she had out in her patio. But then she moved from that place and left the big whiteboard there. And, uh, and the kids each have a small whiteboard that Papa bought for them because he likes to quiz them with math quizzes and whatever, play games with them. So, but they don't need 48 of those markers, that's for sure. So, and they're nice and fat markers, so they're perfect for using to draw round things. So it kind of gives it a an extra, like, faux layer look to it. And I'll show you the difference if, if you've not done that before. I'll do these and show you the difference after them, before and after. It looks really, really does make a big difference, I think. Come on, get in there. There. All righty. So, I'm just going to go back in the drawer here. These can be put back. Put everything back.
back where it goes. Alrighty, now my line drawing paper. <laughs> now watch the difference. See this here, but look at the difference. Oh, I have a purple one. Here you go. You can really see the difference here. One with the purple line and I mean with the black line and one without. So we'll do that. Well, I guess I should have done it before I put the ribbon on, but oh well. Whatever. It still works. There you go. I love the way the leaf looks like that. That is so cute. These are very juicy markers, too. Let life surprise you. Keep moving forward. There's before. And there's after. Before, love yourself first. And there's after. And there we go. And it's funny because I do actually save this <laughs> because it's a black and white background. So that makes perfect background. And that's just scrap paper. Came in the mail. Alrighty, so these are the tags that I was able to make with smiley face stickers and with a piece of scrap decorative paper that I was able to punch out the images. I like that. Alrighty, so hope this tickled your thoughts, your creativity on what to do with some of your supplies. Perhaps you've got some stickers laying around, some little smiley face stickers. Perhaps you've got some decorative paper that has little images on. Um, the other day I was also cutting out some images that was on decorative paper of these, these little animals. Elephants and zebras and giraffes even partial images because when you're when you're doing something like this you can stick it behind so he's like peeking out so not necessarily this one but when I'm making my collages then I can do that alrighty so um, please remember to like subscribe and share and ring that bell so that you can receive future videos and until we meet again happy crafting <music>